Hello Perma people! Today it's time to explore the most essential permaculture design principles. In the previous video, we learned how to observe nature, how to capture energy and achieve our goals. It's time to dive even deeper into three new principles that will boost our harmony with nature. According to the United Nations, nearly 10 million hectares of forest are being lost every single year. This massive loss leads directly to the decline of biodiversity, threatening over 1 million species with extinction. And I know it might sound crazy, but it gets even worse. Our current economic model is based on profit, thus does not consider the natural world as important. But the economy isn't separate from nature. In fact, they are very closely linked together, and if one goes down, the other follows as well. And we cannot afford that cause nature is the only home we've got, as it supports our lives in every way possible. So in this video, we'll explore specific examples that will help us create systems for achieving balance in our life. It's like tuning an instrument. When every string is in harmony, music sounds awesome. Our first principle is about embracing renewable resources like the sun, wind and water. Since the Industrial Revolution, CO2 levels in the atmosphere have skyrocketed. This dramatic increase is directly linked to the use of fossil fuels and is the major driver of climate change. But I have good news for you since we have already created some clean alternatives. The cost of switching to renewable energy is actually much lower than the long-term cost of dealing with climate-related disasters. That's why adopting these methods is now more urgent than ever. It's not just about technology though, it's about changing our way of thinking since we need to shift from a system built on extraction to a new one based on regeneration. Energy communities across Europe are a shining example as they allow people to collaborate and produce renewable energy locally. By doing that, they become prosumers, which means that they are simultaneously producing and consuming their own energy. This shift is a practical way to challenge our current economic model and create a sustainable future for everyone. Nature does not produce waste, as everything that exists in it is recycled and reused. On the other hand, humans create enormous amounts of waste. Specifically, the weight of plastic waste we produce every year surpasses the weight of the Burj Khalifa, the world's tallest building. And the result we get out of it is overflowing rivers and polluted oceans. Then, these plastics are consumed by marine life. This way, they enter the food chain and eventually make their way in our own bodies. Hopefully, there are communities in Amsterdam that are taking creative action against it. The Cascantine Compost Club encourages people to collect their food waste in special bins. Community members manage these bins at a local composting center, turning waste into rich soil instead of pollution. A similar project is Transfolab in Barcelona, where a center was built to improve the city's garbage system. It is focused on design and innovation in order to overcome this massive problem. Reducing waste can begin very simple for all of us at home by composting or using reusable items and avoiding plastics as much as possible. Every small action that reduces waste is a big win for the environment, which we're all part of. Our third principle highlights the importance of diversity. Farming systems where only one crop is grown are extremely vulnerable, because if one problem arises, it easily spreads throughout all the crops since there is no backup to buffer the impact. This leads to what is called a cascade failure, where a single issue triggers a rapid collapse. On the other hand, complex and diverse systems naturally protect themselves as diversity provides multiple backup plans and layers of protection, making these systems far more resilient. The Amadeco project in Italy practices syntropic farming. By mixing various Mediterranean plants, they restore degraded land while at the same time producing nutritious food. 
Such diversity protects and enriches the soil and improves water retention. Similarly, when we design farms, community spaces or home gardens, we should embrace diversity as this will lead us to long-term sustainability. Now it's your turn to practice these powerful principles. Choose wisely one of them and create a plan for your daily life. You can start by planting diverse species out in your own garden or maybe compost your food waste. Small practical steps can create significant positive impact. Whatever you choose, share your success with us by using the hashtag PermaYouth. When we use renewable resources, reduce waste and embrace diversity, we're taking significant steps towards sustainable, resilient communities. In the upcoming videos, we'll learn even more strategies to empower positive change through permaculture. So, until next time, stay curious and connected to nature.